Hello and welcome to the statistics with our course Beginner Level. This course comprises 32 video lectures divided into six sections. When you finish this course, we'll know how to run some simple but fundamental statistical analysis in the R program. Let me tell you from the beginning that this course starts from two important assumptions. First of all, I will assume that you already know how to work in R and RStudio. You don't have to be an expert in R, but you have to know at least the very basics. So, this is not an R course. We are not going to talk about variables, lists, vectors, loops, functions, matrices, etc. I assume that you already know this stuff a little bit. Also, you should know how to install and load an R package, because we are going to use a lot of packages during this course. The second assumption is that you have the basic statistics notions and you are familiar with the statistical procedures discussed here. This is not a Statistics 101 course, so I am not going to explain you what the mean and the standard deviation are, or how a histogram looks like, or how the chi-square test works. Just in case you are not familiar with some of this stuff, you should consult your statistics textbook. In a word, this course is neither an R course nor a statistics course. It is a course about using R program in order to perform statistical analysis. Now let's talk a bit about the structure of this course. In the first section, you are going to learn how to manipulate data in R. How to filter your data, how to recode variables, how to sort data frames and how to compute new variables from the existing ones. In the second section, we are going to get into the descriptive statistics. So here you will see how to compute the most, statis the most uh, important statistical indicators for, for a variable using the R program. In the third section, you are going to learn how to build tables and cross tables in R using different available packages. The section number 4 approaches an all-important topic, how to build charts in R. So, we will learn how to visualize our data with histograms, frequency line charts, column charts, mean plot charts, scatter plot charts, or box plot charts. The package we are going to use in this section is ggplot2. The fifth section is about checking assumptions. Here we'll see how to check the normality assumption with both numerical and graphical methods and how to detect the presence of outliers in our data series. In the section number 6 we are going to learn how to run three univariate analyses. The one sample t-test, the binomial test and the chi-square test for goodness of fit. So, after only a few hours of study, you will know the essentials of the statistical analysis in R. Please keep in mind that at the end of each section, you will find two PDF documents. The first document contains all the codes used in that section, extracted for, from the R files. So, you will have all the codes at hand as a reference. The second section contains practical exercises for the procedure studied in that section. I strongly advise you to actually do those exercises in order to verify your knowledge and improve your skills. As for the last section of the course, it contains a text file with the download links for the course resources. So, you will be able to download all the data frames used in the course in CSV format, as well as the R files we are going to work with. Just a mention before getting started. If you want to become a real expert in statistical analysis with R, you should take a look at my other two courses, Statistics with R Intermediate Level and Statistics with R Advanced Level. The Intermediate course covers more complex techniques like bivariate t-tests, correlation between subjects analysis of variance, 
multivariate analysis of variance and regression analysis. As for the advanced course, it contains techniques like analysis of covariance, within subject analysis of variance, plus some really sophisticated procedures like logistic regression, factor analysis, correspondence analysis, multidimensional scaling, cluster analysis, or discriminant analysis. So, if you want to take advantage of the power of R and learn how to apply some superior analysis techniques, you should check these two courses. Thank you for being a student and let's get started.